The 2021-2022 season kicks off um, this weekend and as usual in South Africa, we start the season with the MTN8 quarterfinals. Brian, like you know, I mean, South Africa, the MTN8, there's no draw. It's always number one versus number eight, number seven versus number two and so forth and so forth. We saw Mamelodi Sundowns lifting the trophy for the four, uh, for the fourth time in a row. I mean, uh, uh, it is um, some good scenes there for the Brazilians and Kaiser Chiefs sneaking in um, in that eighth position. That is why this weekend we have this um, tantalizing clash between Amakosi and the Brazilians. So with me, as I said, I've got O'Brien, Spider, Nike. Brian, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Ah, that's all good, man. Uh, what a big game uh, to kick off the season. Kaiser Chiefs versus Mamelodi Sundowns on, on Sunday. Um, it's an interesting game. Um, ironically, U Baxter, when he first took charge of Kaiser Chiefs, his first game was the MTN8 against the Mamelodi Sundowns. I mean, we saw him getting a hiding in that game. 4-1 um, was the scoreline. Sundown scoring all four goals in the first half. Will we see anything like that um, in this game? I think it's going to be a game that's uh, it's very tight. It's mm -hmm. hard to say uh, first game back is going to be another 4-1 or like five goals in the yeah. game. Uh, it's going to be a cup game. So I think Baxter is going to hold his cards like close to his okay. chest and open up in the second half. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we were saying, like eight plays first, but um, Chiefs had to deal with the Champions League last year. Yeah, so absolutely. maybe eight is not saying what they, they were actually bad. did mm -hmm. last year. So we've got a, a quality game on our hands. Yeah, we definitely have a quality game, like O'Brien um, said. I mean, Chiefs last season, they were focusing on on the CAF Champions League where they reached the finals and unfortunately they lost to Al Ali after getting a red card. But yeah, um, they didn't let go of most of the players that um, took part in that uh, CAF Champions League and they've added some additional signings. I mean, I'm talking guys like Abos Fiso Tlante, who has been a regular at Tibafana Bafana. Keegan Dolly has won the Champions League, he's played for him Melody sometimes. You know, those type of signings, Brian, what do they say um, to, to, to Kesa Chiefs? Are they like a statement of intent to say like, look, we are ready this season or is it like building or anything like that it's building towards winning mm -hmm. trophies and it's also a statement of intent i think because mm -hmm. everyone as a as a Amakosi fan everyone wants to win everyone know yeah, that, that they are the biggest club and as as rivals of Amakosi, we also know that the chiefs are the biggest uh, club in the country but um, personally for me, I think uh, Sekocha is a very exciting player. Yeah, definitely. I like a very direct player and someone who's fearless, who's ready to prove himself. Like he, he's going to go at, at sundown. So mm. um, I'm not sure about Dolly's fitness is yet. Yeah. What do you think? I'm also not sure about um, Dolly's fitness. I mean, I told uh, a lot of people, uh, even uh, off camera, that for me, Sekocha is, is, is the person that should be starting on, 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 on the left flank. And I mean, a plus striker like Nukovic will pocket a lot from Musikota because he's an out-and-out -out winger. He knows how to cross. He is not afraid to take um, defenders on. Yeah, but on the other side, I mean, in Mamelodi, sometimes we've got guys like Abo, um, Sefranco, Pervil Sefranco. We don't even know um, the guy as yet. So maybe he could be the, uh, the surprise package. If you are like a team Mamelodi, sometimes bench, Shua, Rulani, Mangoba or Steve Compel, do you start an unknown in a game like this or do you put him in the second half? I think I'd start him. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll experiment and, and try and see how it's going. Yeah. Because you know you've always got the tried and trusted of like Shalulila and him to, to finish the Obozo game. Up, and all of that, yeah. So up front, who do you start between Shalulila and uh, Erasmus? Do you start both of them or only one? I, I try to accommodate Erasmus, but Shalulila is my man, so I'd have to start him. Yeah, I'd also go with uh, Shalulila, and I think he's been absolutely fantastic. But yeah, I'm expecting more for, or for, from Erasmus this season. I think he's going to be fit. So yeah, I mean, in my melody sometimes I'm expecting them to be um, the strong team uh, uh, again like how they were last season but I don't think it's going to be a case of running away with the league where like after 10 games everyone is saying will this team even lose a game you know yeah I think it's going to be close they'll definitely be challenged this season but yeah they're still favorites to to win all the big trophies so yeah uh, another one Brian I mean it's the original Soweto Derby um, Orlando Pirates and uh, Imoroko Solos the first Soweto Derby I mean these it's called the original Soweto Derby because they used to play in the Soweto Derby before Chiefs was formed and then Chiefs was formed after and took over and that's why we have the, the other Soweto Derby. But yeah, original Soweto Derby, I know you've got a soft spot for, for the Buccaneers, Orlando Paris. They didn't make much signings. They didn't need to. I mean, they've got so many players. They didn't let go of any of their star players. They did loan um, one or two casualties. What do you think of Pirates uh, this season? Do, do, do they have what it takes to, to challenge the likes of, uh, of Mamelodi Sundowns? 
at the moment I'm unsure mm -hmm. because as you said like the signings haven't been coming in for us like sundowns and chiefs yeah. and I really want evidence Makopa I think a focal point in attack would, yeah, would they, really they help us striker, yeah. uh, especially now that La, La, La Passa and Mabasa are out like doubts I'm not sure mm -hmm. if they're gonna play on, on, on this game so uh, I'm really like skeptical about Pirates this season but I, I really love to see us win a cup and, and really go for this one MTNA yeah, I mean, last season we saw Pirates winning the MTN 8 and we thought, okay, the glory days are back after they had signed about Tyson Tlajwayo and Abu Munari and all those vets um, players. You know, they had made some good uh, signings last season about Hoto. We thought, okay, this is the season for Orlando Pirates. Yes, it didn't work out after winning the MTN 8, but surely now, second season together, about Tyson, about Hoto, they, they would have blended. So maybe we'll see um, the best out of them. Yeah, I was reading like uh, some articles. Uh, yeah. I was reading uh, Ben Matswari. He said like, the strength of Pirates is that we haven't changed much. Exactly. So so we, we've been together, we've been gelling together. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can get the best out of each other and better results this season. Yeah, I mean, and in football teams, or players usually do well in their second season. So yeah, maybe let's give Pirates a chance. Maybe that is the reason why they um, kept to Joseph Zimbauer to see what, how he does. Yeah, but if this season, uh, Muzen Bauer doesn't um, cut the knot, then he'll obviously um, get the X. But yeah, I mean, uh, Pirates also signed uh, uh, Golden Arrows coach, Mandla Ngagazi, to come and assist um, uh, Ufadlo Davids and do Joseph Zimbabwe and bolster their, their technical team. So it will be interesting to see how it goes. Yeah, but yeah, in terms of predictions, Brian, um, let's start with the Chiefs and um, Sundowns game. Who do you tip in the run? That one, I'm going draw 90 minutes. Draw 90 minutes. Yeah. So penalties, are, who, who, who takes it in penalties? I'll give it to Chiefs in I'll penalties. I'll give it to Chiefs. I mean, we saw how good they were um, um, on penalties against Orlando Pirates in, in, in the Black Label Cup. So yeah, um, the original Soweto Derby, who's taking this one? I've got a soft spot for Pirates, but I'll mm -hmm. say draw again. A draw again. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, to decide on penalties, there has to be a winner, Brian. You don't sit on the fence. I won this trophy for Pirates, so I'm saying Pirates. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Brian says Chiefs and Pirates to go through. I'm on the same wagon as you, Brian. I think Kami um, Chiefs can surprise him. Melody Sundowns on this one. And the Sundowns don't have a good record I mean, in the MTN 8. I mean, they haven't won this trophy since we MTN 8. Uh, we MTN is sponsored uh, in 2018. You know, they've reached the finals twice, losing to Chiefs and Vets. But yeah, I think... Uh, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns for me they've got bigger fish to fry than the MTN8 so yeah this tournament they never do well I'll, I'll continue I'll say Chiefs um, to go through and Pirates to beat Team Morocco Solos that's it from me and uh, uh, Brian Spider Nika so yeah catch it next next week same time same place Shab Shab Cheers For more soccer betting tips and previews get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agents <laughs>